Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Red Raptor Writes. We are back in our truly Jurassic world. Last time we had our giraffe titans, put that in quotes, and Kentrosauruses. How are you doing, giraffe titan? Oh, doing a stretch? Nope, going to sleep. That's probably what I should be doing since I'm playing this at like 1am, but <laughs> I don't really go to sleep until 6am, so eh, it doesn't matter. And this skin is cool too. Okay, the random skin generator worked out for them. In the meantime, since last episode, I added a couple more Kentra sources just because I thought the Kentro Bracky balance was a little out of whack. You know, you want more of the less fascinating ones and <laughs> less of the more fascinating ones. That's just the way the world works. So you're going to be Giraffic Titan. Three, congratulations on number three. Drop type two, drop type one, Brachiosaurus three. No, 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 no Brachiosaurus here. This is Africa. Giraffe type, Giraffe type, Titan. Okay, <laughs> I can spell at a fourth grade spelling level. There we go. And that's all of them. That's all of them. So for those of you who missed that last episode or don't remember, Giraffe Titan used to be synonymous with Brachiosaurus, it was just the African species, and that's what the Jurassic Park and other interpretations were based off of, Giraffe Titan, since there's more material from Africa than the North American Brachiosaurus. But since then, Giraffe Titan's been giving its own genus, Giraffe Titan, and so we're left with a confusing, they're called Brachiosaurus, but are really based off of Giraffe Titan. So that's, <laughs> that's what you need to know. Okay, and to get even more confusing, today we are making an exhibit for what is called Coelophysis, quote-unquote Coelophysis. The Coelophysis in this game is Coelophysis bori, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this species is from the late Triassic, like, southwest US. But there's Coelophysis rhodesiensis, which is an African species. Again, don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but... Yes, there's an African species that is from the early Cretaceous, although it may, it probably really is a separate genus, but there's no like formal paper on that yet naming it. So I'm just going to go out on a limb and call it Megapnosaurus, okay? I believe if I'm remembering correctly, it's been a while since my When Dinosaurs Roamed America research review. If I'm remembering correctly, that is what Coelophysis rhodesiensis used to be called before it was synonymized incorrectly with Coelophysis. So, a lot of very confusing taxonomy and naming. It's a mess. But again, I'm just gonna go through and make their exhibit because... Oh, am I just going crazy? Am I not able to make something that is symmetrical? <laughs> am I not that talented? I assume not. I, I don't think I am. That, then like that. Oh, this is so ugly. Can I live like this? No, I can't live like this. New idea. <laughs> is this, is this acceptable? Ah, uh, okay. No, 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 no. That's not acceptable yet. We're almost there on the cusp of goodness. This is acceptable. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, nothing too fancy. I'm just gonna have some viewing towers. And a viewing gallery in the middle. Actually, I kind of like the look of this DPG one. It looks a little fancier. Okay. Alright, I see you, game. Trying to impress me, all Pretty good, pretty good. Now, I, I really hope the skins work out. Because I just picked some random stuff. I picked greens. Um, you know, just something that looks semi-realistic. Semi-plausible. Nothing too crazy. No pink Coelophysis is here. Let's add some interest to this. Okay, does that look interesting? I have no idea. No clue, no clue. Yes, okay. It's all coming together. 
Okay, this looks the most Mesozoic to me, so I'm just gonna slather the exhibit with this. The most plant life around the water makes sense to me. Oh, okay, okay, I'm just going a little nuts here. Little nuts, little nuts. By the way, I just made, before this, my uh, Markiplier reacts to walking with dinosaurs video, so check that out if you haven't already. Uh, a short thing, I'm trying to branch out a little because, you know, eventually I will run out of dinosaur documentaries to review. So I have to do other things to prepare for that. <laughs> I don't want to just run out of content. So I've been working on some memes. I still do some movie reviews from time to time. Like I also did a video on No Way Home and the Home Trilogy. Uh, so check that out if you can. So I've been trying to branch out, do some more creative things, and <laughs> memes are also one of those creative things. I do it in my videos anyways, so <laughs> I mean it's something I'm used to doing, but I haven't made them like standalone memes. Is this good? <laughs> Is this good? I mean Jurassic World Evolution 2 doesn't really give you a ton to work with. I'll add rocks. Rocks I talk about the memeing. The meme game. Yeah, so I've been working on my meme game for a bit. And I hope that it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I want to do the Markiplier video because I've kind of been just going back and watching all the FNAF stuff. Like just FNAF playthroughs, um, theories, like all the videos and stuff. So I, I feel like a kid again. I have some spare time. You know, I finished my student teaching. I'm uh, not currently in school, not currently employed aside from YouTube. So a lot of times I work on myself and watch FNAF videos. <laughs> and I've got to say, those first three games really hold up phenomenally well. Even three. Like, when three came out, not a lot of people gave it credit. It was kind of ignored, seen as not that scary. I think it might be my favorite at this point. Controversial opinion. And I'm I sometimes a stranger to controversial opinions. Um, yeah. But 3 is kind of my favorite. I think playing it, it's one of the scariest. 3 and 4. Because 4 is, well, the way the gameplay is set up, where you have to like listen closely and then you get jump scared. And it's a very dark and eerie environment in 4, the bedroom. Yeah, 4 is, four is bad. It's creepy. <laughs> I, I've never been able to play it fully. But then 3 also, because... In 1 and 2, you can kind of find a formula that you can use until you either win or then you know you're going to lose because like you run out of power or something. So then you can prepare to get scared, but no, in 3, like you have to like constantly search and hunt and it's very like frantic. You're looking for spring chap. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I really like 3. I think it's made a big comeback in my mind. The rest after 4 Eh, it gets a little too fan fictiony. Like, just the lore gets weird. So it's one of those things that just went on for way too long. Eh, it's still going on for way too long. To the point where it's like, all right, this isn't good anymore. All right, close enough, close enough. Let's get those quote unquote zelophyses in here. I forgot to put food. Wow. I'll just tell the Coelophysis we have food at home. The food at home. Oh, and then onto the other thing. The other point where it's like, you know, just have time to work on myself, work on my own things, upload a lot more to the channel. I'm uploading those big Dino Doc reviews about twice a month. So that's as opposed to maybe like once a month when I was doing my student teaching, because I really didn't have that much time. Also means a lot of time uh, working out, going to the gym. I've been able to go probably the most consistently in my whole life and I think I'm in the best shape of my life at this point. During COVID, I stopped going to the gym because obviously I didn't want to get sick. I don't really care anymore. I'm basically non-reactionary to COVID. Uh, so if I got sick, like, I wouldn't even notice if I did. I probably have already anyways. So then, after my student teaching ended in December, I started going back to the gym. 
and so for the past like two months I've been making up the progress that I lost because I I've been working out my my entire life since I was ten <laughs> basically. This dinosaur is one of the earliest known animals dating back to oh perhaps gosh, up, 216 so million years ago. I was able to ago. make up that lost progress and now crisis. I'm at the point where there I'm progressing be further than I the was before. But if people want to I'm see stronger than I used to be. Close, this is the only place to do it. Although I will admit I stay away from super heavy lifting or uh, free weights. Things like deadlifts or bench presses, I, I really just don't have anyone to spot me. I go to the gym by myself, so I don't want to take any risks. <laughs> a, I'll injure myself if I lift too much without any spotter, and then B, I'll embarrass myself for getting injured or getting stuck. Oh, hello there. Hi, Megapnosaurus. Very good design. We'll talk more about you soon. This is about me. About me, not you. Get out of here. Okay, I still can't. I still can't make it. So I was also beautifying this place. Adding some lights, plants. I'm not done yet. I was just working on it a little. Well, it took for shrekking ever for all of them to get here, but all the Coelophyses... Okay, Megapnosauruses have been delivered, and I will rename them on my own time. So let's take a look. These are new dinosaurs to the series and I think Frontier did a great job with them well they look unique um, they're actually a little more accurate because their wrists aren't pronated but that's not really important because this is just entertainment it's in the Jurassic universe um, I like the design they're very sleek they look like agile unique from the raptors, the Troodon, those long slender snouts I like them. Plus, they do look pretty vicious and scary. Like, I, won't, I wouldn't want to encounter one of these in the wild. Or, you know, when they inevitably break out and start munching on your face. So, I would hope to avoid that. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't. Even if I'm getting murdered by a Coelophysis, I'd still just be happy to see a Coelophysis. So, where's the other skin? 13. What do you look like? Alright, so a little more olive green. There's a dark green one and a more olive green. Okay, so I like the variation, but again, I <laughs> I really didn't know what would come out because the game doesn't tell me what they're going to look like before I even make them, which is a very odd choice, and I forgot to feed them. Not that they can die. <laughs> Not even that they have needs. And Okay, they're all congregating there for some reason. Let's put the feeder by the viewing area because that would be the smart thing to do. Okay, so hopefully they start to push into the center of the exhibit and not just congregate over there like a bunch of weirdos. That is pretty awesome to see a whole pack family moving together across the desert. That is cool. That is so awesome. Man, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Such a loser. This is how I spend my Sunday nights. Watching a bunch of fake Coelophysis run around in an exhibit. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. So at this point in my life, I am currently working on getting certified to be a teacher in New York State. And then I'll start applying for jobs. Although, New York does pay the best for teachers, but it's New York. New York sucks as a state. We always get the worst governors, high taxes, endless regulations. It sucks. New York sucks. Oh, and riots. That happens from time to time. But that's more in the city. I'm outside of the city. Because <laughs> New York City, the rent is insane. You'll pay like two grand for a closet. It's disgusting. I don't know why anyone still lives there, and I don't know why people vote the way they do, but Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll be a teacher here, or maybe I'm thinking like, game the system, live in Pennsylvania, work in New York, so then I make the New York money, but the Pennsylvania taxes, I don't know. I don't know, but just anything but this. So unfortunately, that's all of our African dinosaurs done. 
Unless, you know, there was some fragmentary material from Africa that was at one point assigned to Allosaurus or Ceratosaurus. Whatever, we'll figure that out. <laughs> I'll have to look back into it. I think that stuff is probably outdated at this point. Um, we're going to go to Europe next. Okay, not the best place in the world, you know. Right now, right now, I'm not talking about it because we can use a bit of escapism. Let's see, we might go pro Ceratosaurus next. We'll start a whole nother European section. Let's see, you'll have Proceratosaurus, Megalosaurus for sure, Metriacanthosaurus. Who else? Who else? Who else? Stegosaurus is a maybe. I might put them in. It's a lot of carnivores. Dimorphodon has to be in there. I'll have to figure it out. Maybe I can uh, look through the Larinia formation and see what looks like other dinosaurs because <laughs> that might be the best I can do at this point so I don't want just carnivores I want to spice it up a little because then when we go to the Morris information in North America then we're gonna have uh, Allosaurus, Ceratosaurus come song with this another carnivore from Europe okay okay oh and Dilophosaurus will be in North America a lot of Jurassic carnivores all right I'll figure that out probably Proceratosaurus but that will have to wait for the next episode. Until then, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and check out my social media. See you next time.